All right, guys, I'm in the clover food plot right now, and here in a second I want to go over and show you the winter rye. I planted that two weeks and two days ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's been roughly two weeks since I planted that. I sprayed it with the glyphosate, and then I turned around the same day and spread the winter rye, and that's all I did to it. Um, it's coming up nice. But right now, the clover plot, like I've said before, is it's been really nice after I did the sleigh and a rest and the mowing. And it still looks really nice. It's coming back after I mowed it down basically to the ground. And the only problem is this stuff here. Now this Canadian thistle here, I had problems in here before with it and I've mowed it, I've sprayed it, but it still for some reason keeps coming back. And I have no idea why, but what I did, I mean, I sprayed it with a sleigh, that didn't do anything, so um, I made a little mixture here, just some glyphosate in here, and um, I was gonna make it a light mixture because some people actually use this just to, I think, some people actually use this and they spray their whole plot with a real light dose of this, and it, it like stuns the clover, but it won't kill it, and it'll kill all the other plants, but I, my, my plan was to make this a light, you know, mixture but I basically made it a double so in drinking terms so it's gonna be all right I'm just gonna have some brown spots in here for a little while um, I'm just gonna have to spray each individual plant there's only there's not that much I know I mean it looks like the whole plot might be full of it but it's not it's just down here and so I'm gonna hit that because it's really bothering me and I don't want it to grow up and seed and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this real quick. I got, we got rain coming in. Actually, we have severe storms coming in, but this stuff here is good after like a half hour. So you don't have to worry too much, but these storms are coming and it's, I gotta get it on here. So let me go ahead. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad here. I forgot to put that mi uh, microphone, I forgot to put the dead cat on and it's been windy all day today, so. Hopefully that's not too bad. And like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. Hopefully you guys can see this here, what I'm talking about. You don't have to spray the whole entire plant. I mean, as long as you get a little bit on there, because the way this works, like I guess it absorbs into the leaf and then that goes down into the root or maybe it doesn't do that. I really don't know, but it attacks some enzyme in there and that's why, I mean, it does take a little while for this to work. Everybody knows that it's not immediate results. It takes like a week, a good week for it to work. This sprayer looks like it's about a piece of junk. Okay, I had a little time out there and a little piece of advice for you guys. Anytime you have these sprayers, any kind of a sprayer, you gotta clean them out when you're done or it's not gonna work right, period. That's all there is to it. It's gonna gum up no matter what you're using and it's gonna be a piece of shit. So if you don't wanna get aggravated, right in the middle of spraying your food plots, spend five minutes and clean them out, pump them. You'll know whenever the, whenever the stuff's done because it'll quit foaming or whatever and it'll be all water. But you gotta clean them out when you're done or it is gonna be junk. I mean, you can buy these little things at Walmart for like 10 bucks, but you can make it last if you clean them out. Something else you wanna be careful with whenever you're doing this is not to be walking through the stuff that you sprayed because you will have footprints of dead clover the whole way through your food plot because it doesn't take much to stick to the bottom of your foot and then anywhere you walk, that's gonna get on the clover. So it's hard, but try not to step on anything that you've already sprayed. Like if I've sprayed up here with a four-wheeler, or if I sprayed in this food plot, when I leave with a four-wheeler, when I leave the food plot, you can see my tire tracks, two dead rows where I left the food plot because that stuff stuck to the tires. So you gotta be careful whenever you're doing that. I got most of that stuff sprayed. I'm not gonna go too crazy until I see what it looks like here. I'll give it a week and see how bad it looks. Um, and then maybe that'll give the weeds some more time to get a little bit higher and it'll be easier to spray the weeds, you know, than the clover. Okay, so the winter rye's been in for two weeks and two days now. And like I said before, I sprayed it and then I immediately parked the sprayer, grabbed my winter rye, and I just threw it on by hand 
I put 75 pounds or no I put 150 pounds on here and you can see like I said the well the only thing that I wish I would have done a little better job on was the spraying I used 15 gallons and uh, probably about uh, 20 ounces of glyphosate now I probably should have either used a stiffer stronger concentrate or I should have just done a better job spraying but it is what it is and I can't spray it now so you can see here that it's probably about five inches high maybe at the max maybe four inches high let me try to get a shot here of this Now it's kind of hard to see it all because of the old winter rye, but there are places in here, like down in here, you can see that I didn't get the weeds as well as I should have. Like all this, those are all weeds. It took probably two weeks, a full two weeks, for this stuff to, for that weed killer to work. But either way, it's a pretty decent sized plot. I really hate this old winter rye that's in here. I mean, there's no way I'm going to go through here and pick this out, but I should have just lit it on fire. I think it's going to work out all right. It's been, like I said, I got the tree stand up here. I'm going to try first day or so to um, get my dough and just get that over with. We got maybe three weeks before the first day here in Pennsylvania. So it's time to get moving here and get stuff figured out. I got... Oh, and then just to wrap up on that winter rye, real quick, all I did was spray it with winter, with, I sprayed it with a weed killer, and then I turned around immediately five minutes after, and I threw the winter rye on there. If you get that weed killer on the, gra on the seed, it's not going to hurt it. Um, you'll be fine, so don't think that it's going to, you can even spread the winter rye. A lot of people spread the winter rye and then they spray that way they say you know so the seed doesn't stick to the plant or whatever but as heavy as that winter rye and then we got rain so that pushed it down to the ground we got two days of rain right after i planted that and then we've been getting quite a bit of rain lately so perfect for growing the winter rye if you guys have a spot where you're not sure what you want to do it's getting towards the end of season but i mean do it now or it's not going to work but it's easy get some get a backpack sprayer spray the weeds spread to rye and you got yourself a nice food plot that's the winter rye that's the clover i'm gonna i'll show you guys here in a week or so what i did here with the spray hopefully it's not too bad i've never done this before but i'm tired of that um canadian thistle in there and i see a few more around here i missed but i'll come back in here again if i have to all right guys the storms aren't far away let me pull out my phone here real quick and i'll just show you I can screenshot it and put it in there, but this is going to be a little bit easier. This stuff here, it's already been 15 minutes since I've sprayed it, so another 15 minutes and it's going to be fine. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll be back here in a couple days and do some archery, some target practice. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.